What's going on guys? I'm the developer of UGO and I'm going to show you how to get OptiScaler working with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Pop over to the nightly build, it's in the link. Click OptiScaler right here, download that. Then you'll have this 7-zip hierarchy. You're going to want those files, get that open. But first let's hop over to the proper hierarchy for Final Fantasy VII. So pop in here, Steam, Steam Apps common final fantasy 7 rebirth and binaries win 64 this is the directory you want so take your files copy on them on in there if you got to replace them replace them then you pop down here we're looking for optiscaler setup dot bat there it is more info run anyway one one if you're on amd or intel one again and you're good to go there. Now you're going to want to launch Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm using the Steam Launcher. I'm going to pop on in here. Options. Graphics. Go all the way to the bottom. Go to your anti-aliasing method. Select DLSS. That should now be available if you're on AMD. All right. Save that. Go back. Hit insert on your keyboard to launch the OptiScaler tool. Select FSR3X. Hit apply. You're good there. If you want frame generation, this is an additional step. Go ahead and select OptiFG, hit save, now close, and restart your game. And now we are restarted. We can hit insert here, launches the tool again. We want frame gen active. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we're gonna want the HUD fix. If the HUD looks funny, deselect that. And now we're good there, so hit close, go to continue, launch in. And there we are, we're in. DLSS is active, or FSR4, whatever you want to call it. You hit insert here, you can see we're getting 212 FPS. FSR4 is active, we have frame gen. We're only getting an additional millisecond of latency from the tool. So that's all very good. I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, hit me with a like and subscribe. Check out my gaming performance software to get a little bit more horsepower out of your games. It changes a bunch of settings, a bunch of tweaks, changes your network to make it more optimized for your online games. It won't get you banned, nothing like that. It's a good tool. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.